internet and today's video is going to be another book opinion those videos in which I tell you my opinion on a book and today's book is going to be Dreadnought the first book in the Nemesis series by April Daniels so little disclaimers we're gonna go through before we go through the main plot so this is a LGBT centric book about a transgender female most important things that you're gonna have to understand and accept about this book so there you go now moving on to the story so we live in a world where superheroes exist because this is a superhero book and we meet this girl named Danny and she's currently in her born form she was born as male and she's hiding like in this parking lot in the back painting her toenails because she feels entrapped in this masculine body that she knows isn't really hers like she feels like she's intruding in someone else's body and she hates it and the superhero ends up like falling dead in front of her and she's like oh what and she goes to him and it turns out to be this guy called dreadnought so dreadnought is a superhero mantle that has been passed down for like the last 50 years it's been passed down generations um hero to hero male to male and it finally reaches danny and the guy gives her this mantle and she receives it and she becomes dreadnought but one of the amazing things that happens when she becomes dreadnought the super powerful superhero is she also becomes danny the female physically she is now a female and she is so overjoyed she finally has the body to match her soul and it's great and we're all happy for her, except we're not all happy for her, because people are assholes so a lot of them are not happy for her at all and make her new life as a superhero even more difficult by wanting to spread their ideas of how transgenders are people are the devil and they're ruining society and they all should be raped so no lie, that's a sentence said in this book by some ignorant, phobic fools. So, things about this book that you should know. One of the things that made it hard for me to read this book at first was because I was expecting a more superhero book. Now, I've had several books where I've read where there is an LGBT theme, so I was expecting more superhero stuff with the LGBT stuff kind of in the background adding to the superhero story that wasn't what this first book is about so I was really surprised and shocked I wasn't disappointed with what I got but it definitely was disconcerting at first because I was reading like halfway into the book and I'm like she still hasn't done anything super super heroic like she hasn't done anything super hero -y. she's done some hero -y stuff but like nothing super amazing and I thought like the villain would at least come in at some point in time like where where is this villain what's going on where's all the superhero antics and finally I started to realize this first book isn't about being a superhero it's about a girl Danny who has to deal with society now because she finally has the body that fits her but everyone wants to tell her how she should feel and how she should act and who she should be that she doesn't have a right to choose what kind of body that she wants uh, she doesn't have the ability that there's that there, there's something just wrong in her head and she's making everything up for attention and that's what this book is about this book is about telling the reader about the problems that the transgender community faces and really contextualizing those feelings of fear that Danny has when it comes to other people with confronting her parents when it comes to all of these situations and the emotions that go behind it and just explaining why it's like messed up that you feel like you have the right to impose your beliefs on someone else when what they are doing has no effect on you at all like they are hurting no one in the long run no one at all but you still want to push your own agenda so that was what this book was about is about a girl who has to deal with all of these very human ordinary problems that really are messing her up like they are horrible but with the added 
like pressure of her having to fill in this mantle of being this superhero except she's the first female version except she's not really female according to society so now all she has to do with trying to prove that she's a good superhero but she's just a 16 year old kid who like the scariest thing for her was trying to sneak out to the superstore so she could buy some nail polish once in a while and fearing whether or not someone will catch her with nail polish chippings on her toes. Like, that's that's a hard thing to just like, psh, psh, you're worrying about nail polish to all of a sudden you're worrying that you're going to be killed in your sleep because you're a superhero and villains want to hurt you. Like, that's not an easy transition. So... <laughs> I'm laughing at my own joke but either way that was what this book was about is it's about that struggle it's about the struggle that you have not only being a transgender person but her also being a lesbian on top of that so like of course people have a comment on not only being a lesbian but transitioning from male body to female body but you like females and you know, you know where I'm going with that so like she has to deal with comments like that she has to deal with comments where she doesn't like people so they want to tell her that she should be raped because that's what she deserves like those people need to die in a hole that's all I'm gonna say on that and then she has other people that says she has no right to call herself a woman because she's not really a woman and then she has superhero stuff things to go on so like there's this whole conversation of just like how much pressure you have just being a person and dealing with all these ordinary problems and it's really a conversation on that and just making the reader aware of it and just fully contextualizing all of these feelings all of these thoughts with the added benefit of we're gonna get to superhero stuff that's not the most important part of the story. That's just an added pressure on this girl. So definitely more about the emotions, about the conversation, less about the superhero -y stuff in this first book. Definitely really good read. However, my favorite part about this book had nothing to do with Na Danny, but her potential girlfriend in the form of a super badass Latina cowgirl named Sarah. She was my absolute favorite. I loved her. I loved her so so much. She was so so good. <laughs> like she was just such a great character. I loved her. So for the other characters, I really like their interactions with Danny and Danny's interactions with them. I liked how this was a book where you could see females support each other instead of constantly tearing each other down. There were definitely females that wanted to tear Danny down, but there was just as many that th were there to love and support her and not trying to rip her apart because she is this gorgeous girl. So that's what you do to other people. You just rip them apart. No, like this has some really great female, female friendships that like standed, that weren't purely romantic, that were just friendships. And that was such a great thing to see. Like they weren't constantly trying to call each other bitches. I was there for that. Like, females can be friends too, what? Amazing, I know. I never would have guessed. So, if you decide to pick up Dreadnought, definitely go into it understanding that this isn't about being a superhero. Not wholly, not fully. So, it's not going to have all these crazy superhero things about Dreadnought. This is not, like, even though this book is called Dreadnought, this isn't about Dreadnought. It's about Danny trying to figure out who she is and her slowly becoming the superhero and the person she wants to be. So, pick this up. It's good representation, as far as I'm aware. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a really good representation. It was awesome to see. So, comment down below if you've read this book. Yeah. How many of you have ever picked up this book? How many of you have heard of this book before? Uh, like, have you have you heard of this book before? Because I just found it on a whim on Amazon and was like, yeah, I like buying books and I bought it. And I ended up really liking it, but like, you heard about it from other people like I don't know <laughs> I saw it in the library once uh it was a big huge public library in Lexington and I saw it in the library being promoted on like a shelf of like great reads so 
obviously other people outside of me have heard of this book so <laughs> comment down below if you have and if you like what you're seeing here and you want to continue to see more click all those bunny bunnies down below and goodbye internet